Happy Friday, 3D crew. I'm Connor Woodard with the Rookies Weekly Update for the third Friday of July. And there's so much cool stuff to talk about, so let's dive in. First up, the SAG After Strike is on full blast and has a lot of powerful support on its side. Also, they're allowing 39 independent productions to continue working as they are not tied at all to AMPTP companies, which is pretty cool for SAG After members, for indie filmmakers, and audiences of indie films. I also think this is exactly the freshening up that Hollywood needs. If this continues, maybe we'll have more interesting stories to watch that aren't movies with eight or nine sequels in them. They wouldn't be tied to unjust contracts. If you want to follow the SAG After Strike more closely, you can check out the SAGAFTRA.org's news section. 80 Levels Digest published a pretty fantastic post about how to develop apps and games for the Apple Vision Pro. I see a long future ahead for the Apple Vision Pro and think this release is quite comparable to the first iPhone. The first one was more for developers than for consumers. There will be a whole new wave of apps that take this new platform by storm, and maybe yours could be one of them. Vancouver-based studio Braun is filing for bankruptcy. Bummer. Neural Haircut is doing an amazing job at constructing strand-based geometry of human hair from video. This is pretty impressive stuff. Hitmarker posted this awesome video from Google Tiles, which brings a one-to-one -one complete Google Earth into Unreal Engine 5. Master sculptor Marco Ploof has posted a tutorial on how he sculpts hair for 3D printed models. Speaking of ZBrush, 2023.2 has been released with an hour-long presentation announcing it on YouTube. Marcel Agency released a fantastic ad that shows amazing soccer plays with a surprise VFX twist at the end. Love it. Vicky Vo at Adobe shared this awesome watercolor demonstration from Adobe Fresco, which is a completely free drawing and painting app from Adobe. It looks super fun. In Jobs, the What FX Animation Internship in honor of Julie Baines is open. Sabrina Cohen is hiring CFX artists, environment journalists, matte painters, lighters, and surfacing artists living in BC or Quebec. That's No Moon has a dozen openings across seven departments, though most of them are senior or lead positions. The embassy is seeking compositors. Superseed Studios is looking for a freelance character artist. Sony Imageworks is hiring senior environment artists. Floating Rock in New Zealand is hiring a senior character look development artist. Pixomundo has many openings, though most of them are senior. If there were any jobs listed that you're interested in or suited for, definitely check out Amir's games job directory, which was just updated to version 9.6. There's also the Visual Effects Society's job board, Chris Main's industry job posting database, and hitmarker.net's gaming job database. You will find the links to all these databases in either the comments below or in the description on YouTube. Because of all the submissions into the Rookie Awards, there are just too many amazing rookie profiles to feature. Having said that, here are some of my quick favorites. This abandoned church by by Sasha Honcharova, This Persian Princess by Kevin Sultani, This Zero Wolf Character by Yashvi Sampura, This Beautiful Still Life by Jing Zhen Yi, This Short Film Lethal by The Navy Team, and all of its gorgeous assets, and so many beautiful short film finalists on the Rookies.co. Like I said, there is just too many to list. The winners of the Rookie Awards will be announced next week, July 27th, and you can bet they'll be on the Rookies Weekly Update July 28th. Featured artists with industry experience Start with Matt Williams for this really cute hand-drawn dog animation. So expressive and cute. I also really love this ape walk cycle from Constantino Sophocleus. The next featured artist is Marcelli Crike for this Mercedes-Benz advertisement done in Unreal Engine 5. Super sick. And we haven't had a meme of the week segment before, but if we did, this week's would go to Brown Bag Films meme for compositors. What do you mean? What do you, what do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? If you have any news, art, job openings, or memes you want to see on this show, send them straight over to me in the LinkedIn DMs. I cannot wait to talk about the winners of the Rookie Awards next week. And one last thing, have an awesome weekend.